everyone, I hope you're doing well today. Today is actually going to be the day that I color my hair. I know I've been talking about wanting to get my hair colored at home and I've been trying to find some good products to use. The John Frieda Precision Color Foam and this is what the product looks like. My color is 4N. I have no idea what the results are going to be obviously but I am covering um, medium brown hair with some very light blonde highlights throughout. This review will also cover people who may have partial gray or all gray hair for this product. I think I can show you up close. Um, maybe you can see it in the light. I do have this section right here and it is pretty much all like all gray. Once you get up in there you can see it like all right here. If I were to leave it alone and let it go I would literally have like a white a solid non-pigmented uh, section of gray or white hair right here. So um, I can definitely tell you if it covers gray or not. I'm also going to mix in a couple of tips and tricks for at-home coloring. These are some things that I just think might make the process a little bit easier for you. One tip I have is if you are in close proximity to your shower curtain, just take the front section of your shower curtain and throw it over to the back side of the liner. Get like a towel or something that you don't mind messing up possibly. And I also recommend having some sort of wipes. You will need a cheap disposable shower cap. I basically do a two-step process to avoid staining on my skin. Uh, not only do I wear the, you know, the full-size t-shirt, that way I don't hit my shoulders or anything like that with my hair because it is so long. Um, I recommend cotton rounds and I also just use any type of makeup remover. Any makeup remover really does a great job of taking off staining. Of course you will need clippies for when you section off your hair. Whatever kind you have is fine. And another thing I recommend is just have a conditioner on hand. Alright, step number one. Let's see. Um, it says to comb your hair or brush your hair. So. That's a good way to start. Now, I'd like to start by saying that I do have second day hair. I made it a point to wash my hair first thing yesterday morning, and I went without conditioner. I feel like if there's no product buildup whatsoever on my hair, I get a much better coloring result than if I'm trying to like color my hair over really thickly conditioned hair or really slippery or slick hair or hair filled with products. So I've got my hair combed out. Now, it says, drape a towel over your clothing, blah, blah, blah. Well, I mean, I don't do that because I'm just wearing a junky shirt. Okay, so I have to take the cap off of the developer. It says, tilt, do not shake. So, I'm not shaking it. And then it says, empty colorant two into the developer and then replace the cap. So, that is number two. So, it's staying true to form. It's one, two, three. All right, so here we go. We're gonna pour this in. It's like an amber color right now, just going into the bottle. The products that I've used so far, I'm gonna start throwing back in the box just to kind of keep it in one place, and I'll just keep it together in case it starts to leak any or anything like that. Um, yeah, I'm a big smell person. It does not smell bad at all. All right, now this is the tilt do not shake because I see it on this paper right here. It says slowly tilt developer one upside down five times to mix. Five times is enough. <laughs> it says it boldly, five times is enough. Extra mixing will not create more foam. Gently tilt do not shake. Oh my gosh, okay, well I can't screw that up, I don't think, unless my lid's not tight, so. Lid's tight and we're gonna tilt upside down five times to mix. One, two, gently, three, four. <laughs> I've never done this with this kind of stuff before. I'm not used to this. I'm used to like this stuffy squeeze. And five. All right, now it Basically, oh, oh, I'm, my bad. It told you to put the gloves on first. Well, I can't do that because I'm like a klutz with stuff, so I had to be able to grip this anyway, so I'm kind of glad I didn't. So I'm going to go ahead and get my gloves on now for this part of the process. These are actually like really, really sturdy gloves, and I don't feel like they're going to have any issues whatsoever. Um, also important to note that I have removed all of my jewelry. I don't have earrings, and I don't have rings or bracelets on. I do have my emergency... Uh, 
hair thing, hair tie though, just in case I need to throw my hair up in a hurry. All right, next up is to replace the black cap with the foamer enclosed. It says use immediately after mixing and discard unused mixture. Well, I can pretty well bet with the length of my hair and the fluffiness and puffiness and how much hair I have, I'm gonna need to use all of it. So I'm gonna take the cap, throw it in my little collection box, and here we go. I'm just gonna screw this on. And this has been seriously the easiest stuff I have used yet to mix. All right, and it locks. It says it locks. So actually, I can't even recreate the sound because it's completely locked in place. But if you could hear it, when I twisted it, it completely locked in and it's, it's not coming out. Okay, so it says to start dispensing the foam, you have to squeeze the center and um, put it in your hand. It says for short hair, make sure to use two thirds of the bottle. For shoulder length or long hair, make sure to use the entire bottle. Well, I could tell you that already. I knew that was gonna happen. All right, now for me, um, what I like to do when I start coloring my hair is I'm actually gonna start on the top of my head and I'm gonna do the roots. Now, at this point, um, I guess I probably could have waited to do the gloves because I do like to apply a conditioner around my hairline. So I'm gonna take the conditioner and I'm kind of sloppy with it, but I really don't care because I'd rather be sloppy with conditioner than have um, than have stains all over my skin. So, like I said, I'm gonna be looking in the mirror. I'm actually gonna take this and just lightly spread this. And I do this over my ears, behind my ears, like this. And I promise you, promise you, promise you, this will make it so much easier to remove any stray hair coloring and uh, wipe it away. I have this great protective barrier in place. I can get my glove back on and get started. So it says to squeeze into your hand, and here we go. This is the way it comes out. It's the foam, just like this. I've got a big glob of it, and I'm going to start applying it to my roots. I'm also being very careful to make sure that I get any baby hairs or anything like that into the mix because I want to um, get those little tiny new growth hairs, get those covered really well. It's really basically saying roughly section and apply tennis ball sized amounts to the next parts of your hair and repeat at least five times to the front of your head and three times to the back and massage thoroughly for a few minutes. Okay. So I guess this is where I'm going to start sectioning. I'm just going to take this and I'll pull it forward and I'm going to pin it. I'm not really worried about the ends right now. I'm worried about getting to my roots, which is primarily a concern because I do have to, a lot of blonde that I, I keep wanting to pump it. That's an issue. I mean, it's so easy to squeeze, but because it's a pump, it's like psychologically, I just want to like pump it. It's sort of weird because it doesn't work when you do that. <laughs> just gonna like probably disappear off the camera for a minute because I'm flipping my head upside down but I'm really wanting to make sure that I do a good job of getting like the nape of my neck because all of that hair always shows whenever I'm doing a ponytail or a side bun. Alright at this point I'm gonna let the top part down and now I'm just gonna basically focus on getting all this product into the full part of my hair. Look at that, look how much hair I still have left. Oh my gosh, this is where I'm just gonna foam away. See, I'm just going like this, yeah. It might be cheating, but I don't wanna be here all day doing little ping pong ball sized globs on my hair. All right, as far as the smell goes, it's actually, it's not unpleasant. It doesn't smell um, really overpowering. It has a hint of a floral smell, and of course it still smells chemically, but it is nothing like a lot of the other home coloring kits that I've tried in my past. Um, I recall that those smell pretty rank and you had to like cut on the fans and open up all the windows and this one totally totally bearable. Be careful that you've basically done this over a towel because once it starts towards the end you do kind of get some like flyaway foam bits that come out of the clump. There's no question in my mind that this is good for thick long hair. Now, all I'm going to do is I'm just going to take my hair and I'm going to do my best to gather it or, you know, put it all together on the top of my head and I kind of try to curl it under a little bit so it'll fit in the shower cap. I'm going to take the shower cap and place it over my head 
<laughs> Looks so glamorous sitting here with the shower cap on, right? Cleaning off my ears really good, and I want you to see how much of the coloring uh, product that the makeup remover helps remove. This is a very important step, and you don't want to miss that because that's where a lot of people get those weird discolorations um, on their skin, and you can really tell if they've done their hair at home sometimes because they have spots. Alright, now I'm going to wait the recommended amount of time. It says massage jelly to avoid hair tangling, which I did. Blend and massage remaining foam from the bottle through hair lengths. Ensure your hair is completely covered with foam right up to the hairline. It should be as frothy with, with foam as this image. This image right here. And I think I pretty well nailed that. So, leave foam on hair lengths for a further 10 minutes. 10 minutes for roots, plus 10 minutes for grays plus 10 minutes for lengths to tips. 30 minutes maximum. All right, so I'm gonna go for 30 minutes. All right, guys, it's been 30 minutes. I've gone ahead, I've gotten ready, I've done my makeup, and there are a couple more tips I wanted to give you really quickly. If you save the shower cap that you used, when you go into the shower and you rinse your hair out and you put the conditioner in, you can just use that shower cap and put it on your head and create sort of like a hair mask out of it. Uh, leave it in your hair the length of time that you're in the shower and you'll get some really, really great results. Your hair will be really silky and smooth. Now, when I rinsed out the solution, I noticed that it wasn't difficult to rinse out at all. There was an initial sort of slip factor. It didn't feel like my hair felt like Pine Star or anything like that. So it felt really nice. Uh, once I completely rinsed the product out, there was a little bit of dryness, but that is natural and to be expected with at-home hair coloring. Uh, by the time I put the conditioner on and everything, my hair just feels super smooth and soft, and I actually haven't even seen it yet. I've had my hair up while I was getting ready, so we are going to take a look at the results of my hair while it is wet. Um, this was the stain towel that I said keep on hand because it will still bleed a little bit. Uh, if you have white towels, make sure you keep a... Um, sort of a grungy towel or a towel that you don't mind using on hand because the first few times that you wash your hair, your hair will bleed a little bit, or the coloring will bleed a little bit. And uh, another thing worth mentioning too, you may, because it does dry out your hair with at-home coloring slightly, you may want to go ahead and try to wait a couple of days after you color your hair just to allow the color to really soak in and set in really well. Uh, my hair feels very healthy. It doesn't feel like it's been overly processed or anything like that. And the color, I can tell right away, I'm really excited because it is not a jet black. That was my biggest fear was this color would come out so much darker than what it was represented on the package. But I have to say, while it's not exactly as it looked on the package, I mean, it is very similar and I am very happy with the color of it right now. I just wanted to get up here and show you just the shine in my hair. Of course it is still wet, but a lot of that is the shine from the product. And the gray areas that I refer to on the sides, it looks like it covered my grays pretty well. You can see, the all over color is really well distributed through my hair and I'll turn around and you can see through the back the color is really well distributed as well. One final tip too before I get the drying started. Uh, if you are anything like me and you kind of tend to misplace things or you might be a little bit forgetful sometimes about what you use because you try so many products, just tear off part of the package, the part that lists the title of what the product was and the color that you used, and store this somewhere where you keep things that you know that you'll look at or remember. That way the next time I go to do my hair again, I'll know exactly what product to grab in case for any reason I happen to forget what I used or what color I used. All right guys, I'm back and I'd have to say my hair is pretty much all the way dry. There are still a few places that are wet, but I wanted to go ahead and show you the dried results. And you can see it's shiny, and like I said, the coverage is good. The area that was gray is covered. Um, I do still see there's a couple of light spaces, but I mean, I know something's not gonna be perfect, but I am really happy with the coverage and with the results. I feel like my hair is still healthy and shiny. Um, I don't have any product or anything in my hair right now, but I think once I apply my shine serum and everything, and straighten my hair or curl my hair, you'll really be able to tell. And um, this is the results. I hope that if you try this product out or you have experience with this product, you will leave comments in the comment section below. And I just wanted to thank you for taking the time to do this with me. I'll see you in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.